Good morning, everyone. We are going to start discussing today about fourth quarter, and the coverage of the fourth quarter is only module seven, which about which is about triangle trigonometry. And the first topic is what we call the six trigonometric ratios. So to begin with, let us define what is trigonometry. So trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships between side lengths and angles of triangles. It comes from the Greek word one, trigonon, which means triangle, and it also comes from the Greek word metron, which means measure. So based on this trigonometry, we will be discussing the measurements of triangles. Specifically, we will be discussing the measures of the lengths of the sides and angles of triangle. For today's lesson, it is important that you can identify the different parts of a right triangle. So let us consider this right triangle. Let us name the vertices. We have A, B, and then we have C here. And let us name the sides. Opposite angle A will be side A. Opposite angle B will be side B. And opposite angle C will be side C. You all know that the side opposite the right angle is what we call the hypotenuse. So therefore, side C is our hypotenuse. And the other two sides, A and B, are what we call the legs. But today, we should identify these two legs in relation to an angle if it is an opposite side or an adjacent side. Now, let us let theta, this is theta, let us let theta as an acute angle. Suppose we name angle A as our angle theta. So let us consider angle A as our theta. Let us identify which sides between A and B is its opposite side and its adjacent side. C will be always our hypotenuse. Ano? And then, of course, opposite the angle from the word itself, opposite, it means that if angle A is our theta, which means that side A will be our opposite side. And then the other leg or the other side, side B, will be the adjacent side. Again, it is very important for today's lesson that you can identify which is the opposite side and the adjacent side of a mark angle theta. It is because the six trigonometric ratios are the following. We have sine theta, which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine theta, which is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent theta, which is equal to opposite over adjacent. We have the cosecant theta. It is the reciprocal or the opposite of sine theta. So we have here hypotenuse over opposite. And then the second theta is the reciprocal of cosine theta. So we have here a hypotenuse over adjacent. And the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent theta. So we have here adjacent over opposite. Again, you need to identify which side is the opposite side and the adjacent side of an acute angle. Now, let us see if you understand. Suppose we have here a right triangle and the sides of the triangles are named as side M. This is side M. This is side N and this is side O. Again, opposite the right angle is our hypotenuse, which means that N is our hypotenuse. And we have the sides M and O will be either the opposite or the adjacent side, depending which is our acute angle. Suppose that this acute angle will be our theta. This is our angle theta. Let us identify the six trigonometric ratios of our acute angle here. Let us start with sine theta. We have here sine theta. Our theta is this acute angle. Since the sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and you all know that N is the hypotenuse, now which between M and O is the opposite side? Yes, so yung katapat niya will be the opposite side at yung katabi niya will be the adjacent side. So the opposite side is M, so we have M, and then the hypotenuse is N. So sine theta, 
referring to this triangle and to this angle, sine theta is equal to m over n. And let us identify the other trigonometric ratios. We have the cosine theta. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And our adjacent side again, eh, yung katabi ng ating theta, which is side O. So we have O over the hypotenuse again is N. And then the next will be the tangent theta, wherein the tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite side again is yung katapat, which is M, and the adjacent, yung katabi, that is side O. And it will be easy for you to identify the other ratios because these are just the reciprocal of the first three. Since cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so reciprocal lang. So if the sine is M over N, it means cosecant is N over M. And the reciprocal of cosine is second theta. So you just get the reciprocal O over N. So second theta is N over O. And for the cotangent, which is the reciprocal of tangent, pagbabalik ta rin lang din yan. So we have here O over M. So this is what we mean by the six trigonometric ratios. There is a mnemonic used for you to easily remember the six trigonometric ratios. When you say mnemonic, these are arrangement of letters. Again, for you to assist to remember something. And in six trigonometric ratios, the very famous mnemonic na ginagamit is what we call the so ka toa. We have so ka toa. And then we have cho, sha, and then we have here kao. Again, in six trigonometric ratios, the mnemonic use is this. We have the so katoa, cho, sha, kao. What do we mean by so katoa, cho, sha, kao? It means that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, cosecant, hypotenuse over opposite, second, hypotenuse over adjacent, and then cotangent, that is adjacent over opposite. Again, for you to remember easily the six trigonometric ratios, you just need to remember this mnemonic. It is called Sokatoa Choshakao. I hope this can help you. At this moment, let us identify if you can still recall the six trigonometric ratios. This is our mnemonic we are going to use. And we have two acute angles here. We have the theta here on the first figure. And then we have a beta on the second figure here. So titingnan lang natin which acute angle ang sinasabi ng ating mga trigonometric ratios. Suppose we have number one. So we have here cosine theta. So titingin tayo sa theta. Cosine using the mnemonic again. This is our our cosine that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent of our theta, yung katabi niya, of course, that is, that is 8. So we have 8. And then the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. So we have here 17. So in figure number 1, cosine, cosine theta is equal to 8 over 17. And then number two, we have tangent beta. Here is our acute angle, beta here. We are looking for the tangent. So we have here toa. The tangent is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So speaking of our beta here, our opposite, yung katapat niya. So we have here three. Toa, opposite over adjacent. Yung adjacent or yung katabi ng beta natin is four. So tangent beta is equal to three over four. We have the next one, second beta. We are referring again with this. Where is our second in our min min mnemonic? So we have here the second, hypotenuse over adjacent. The hypotenuse, again, is opposite the right angle, which is defined by side B. B ang ating hypotenuse. So second is hypotenuse over adjacent. And the adjacent side of beta, again, that is 4. So second beta is equal to B over 4. For number four, we have sine theta. So we have the theta here. Sine, this 
mnemonic, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite of our theta, yung katapat ng aming theta, that is side A, and the hypotenuse, of course, that is 17. So, sine theta of our figure number 1 is equal to A over 17. I hope you can follow. Let's have the next one. The next one will be cosecant beta. Here again is our beta. Cosecant, etong ating mnemonic na to, we have hypotenuse over opposite. The hypotenuse or figure number 2 is B. So we have B for the cosecant hypotenuse over opposite. And the opposite side of beta will be 3. So the cosecant beta is equal to B over 3. Let us have the next one. We have the tangent beta. So we have tangent beta again. Tangent is this one, TOA. We have opposite over adjacent. Opposite of our beta is 3 and the adjacent side is this one. So we have 4. So tangent beta is equal to 3 over 4. And then number 7, we have cotangent theta. Dito tayo sa first figure. This is our theta. Cotangent, of course, ito ang ating cotangent, yung dulo. We have the cow, which is adjacent side over opposite side. Adjacent side, yung katabi ng ating theta is 8. That is adjacent. And the opposite side, yung katapat is A. So we have 8 over A. So Cotangent theta is equal to 8 over A. Adjacent side over opposite. And then the last one is the cosecant theta. Theta again, cosecant, here is our cosecant, that is hypotenuse over opposite. This is our theta, the hypotenuse is 17. So you have 17 over the opposite. Opposite is A, so we have 17 over A. A. Again, these are the six trigonometric ratios. We have the sine. Sine theta again is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. We have the cosine theta. It is equal to adjacent side over hypotenuse. We have the tangent theta. It is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. And the other three are just the reciprocal. We have the cosecant theta, the reciprocal of sine, so we have hypotenuse over opposite side. And then we have the second, opposite of cosine, so we have hypotenuse over adjacent. And then lastly, opposite of cotangent is tangent theta, so we have here adjacent over opposite. This is again the mnemonic, we have the Sokatoa Choshakao. I hope everything is clear. I hope you get it. Thank you for watching.